Move over, Iron Man. This is Iron Cub, a humanoid robot learning to fly. Researchers are hoping someday their flying bot will change the game in disaster response operations. This team at the Italian Institute of Technology had already developed a two-legged robot called iCub, which they make and sell to other researchers around the world. And then they wondered if they could make it fly. To get it airborne, they've installed a jet turbine on each arm and one on each shoulder. And renamed it Iron Cub. Daniele Pucci, head of the Institute's Artificial and Mechanical Intelligence, explains why Iron Cub adding a jetpack is no minor adjustment feat. We have to rework all the jetpack, we have to rework all the lower body. So if you have to, you have to imagine that from here, there is exhaust and ga gas getting out at 800 degrees Celsius at supersonic speeds. So you get two problems. Air speed breaks anything that it needs and melts anything that it needs. And then, so you, we had to build this special, uh, this special uh, protection for the Iron Cub. Pucci says the hope is for the flying Iron Cub to be able to perform search and rescue operations in locations too dangerous or inaccessible for people. Where basically it's difficult to walk and to arrive, to get to the place, so you would like something that flies, avoids debris and obstacles, lands, makes inspections, uh, looks for survivors, and then once this technology and the robot did it for one building, it takes off and it moves to another building looking for survivors. The prototype is still a long way from complete. The team is working on systems to allow the robot to maintain steady flight, as well as controlled takeoffs and landings. There's also the issue of transitions between flying, landing and walking. The team hopes that this innovative research and the valuable data they're collecting along the way could lead to a revolution in the capabilities of humanoid robots and expand their potential use to save lives.